Yeah, guys, this is simply a heartbreaking situation. We've been told by family members that the victim uh, was a mother of two. In fact, she was at this house that you are looking at here on uh, Gulf View Terrace uh, to let her boyfriend know that she was pregnant. It's his house. The other girlfriend of that boyfriend showed up at the house. Uh, things escalated, and next thing you know, gunfire had rung out. This is 24-year-old Kyla Cooper and her two girls. She had recently learned she was expecting a new child and appeared to be overjoyed with the news. Though her four- and five-year-old had another father, she had moved on to what she thought was a better relationship. Per her social media, she appeared to be in love and had hopes and desires to marry the father of her new baby. When Kyla found out the news she was pregnant, she decided to go tell her boyfriend in person. She got into a car and headed to his home on the 2600 block of Gulf View Terrace Southeast in Kanye, Georgia. According to her boyfriend, she had just given him the news when either his ex or other girlfriend showed up at the home. This is when a tragedy took place that no one even saw coming, leaving a mother unalive, laying outside for hours, and two people behind bars. Kyla Cooper was born August 18, 1999, in the metro Atlanta area. She attended Kendrick High School in Columbus, Georgia, and was raised by her loving grandmother, whom she adored so much. In her late teen years, she began dating a man who I will refer to as A. A was a few years older than her and already a father, but she had no kids when they met one day at a quick trip gas station. In October 2017, when Kyla was 18, she announced on Facebook that she was two months pregnant. However, it appeared the pregnancy did not make it to term. Despite the loss, Kyla became pregnant in 2018 and gave birth January 18, 2019 to a little girl that the couple named Naomi six weeks before her due date. During our labor, she said A never left her side and she appeared to be truly head over heels for him. After their daughter turned one in 2020, they had another baby, a second girl, on April 16th that same year that they named Nyla. In spite of that, the pair ended up breaking things off, and Kyla expressed that her two daughters were the only thing she got good out of almost five years with their father. She made allegations that there was DV in their relationship and decided to move forward without her kid's dad. I'm sure this was the best decision for her because no one should stay in an unhealthy relationship whether there are kids or not. She also expressed on Facebook that she loved her daughter so much and that the love she feels for them is so sweet and pure, which made her feel like she didn't need anything else in the world. Moving on is never easy for anyone, but happiness for her kids and her, I am sure was the ultimate goal. After some time though, she met and began a relationship with a now 31 year old Rashad Ashton Thompson. However, was Rashad the right person for the mother of two? The last few posts Kyla made on her social media in June of 2024, she seemed to have found love again with Rashad, and it looks like a wedding was in the talks between them. Sometime after midnight on June 20th, Kyla headed to her man's house to tell him that they were going to have a baby together. She had just found out she was pregnant allegedly and wanted to give the news in person. When she got to Rashad's house, she was able to tell him the news, but allegedly his other woman, or ex, was creeping in the shadows. That female, who was identified as 25-year-old Arkea Tate, arrived at the home, and an argument broke out between the two women. At some point, Rashad and Kyla were said to start going back and forth, and Arkea found out Kyla was pregnant. Then out of nowhere, Kyla was allegedly shot in the head at point-blank range, and Arkea left the scene. Deputies were called out to Rashad's home on Gulf View Terrace off of Salem Road around 12.45 a.m. that Thursday morning. Upon arrival, officials say they found the victim, but it was too late. She had passed away at the scene. At this time, it was unclear who shot her, and one neighbor told authorities and news outlets that she heard all the commotion between the three of them and saw Kyla laid out for all to see. This is a very active investigation, so law enforcement isn't saying much, but we did speak to a neighbor who describes this crazy ordeal that has them on edge. It's it's a lot. It's a lot because she was out here for hours. I just heard arguing. 
in the bed. I was laying down. So I heard a lot of arguing and like I heard some thumps and then I heard the shot. And after the shot, car alarm went off and I looked out the window and there was a car flying down the street with lights off. The mother basically stated that she had just found out she was pregnant. The boyfriend said the same thing. That was one of the things that he was upset about, that she had just told him that, you know, she was expecting. Rashad was taken into custody on unrelated charges, but police had to find Arkea, who fled the scene. However, it didn't take long for deputies to catch up with her. Other adults who were at the home where the crime took place gave a description of the possible getaway vehicle. About two miles away on Interstate 20, a deputy spotted a car matching the description. He pulled it over in a westbound lane near the Salem Road entrance ramp. A woman inside the car was apprehended and allegedly that was Arkea Tate. At the location she was captured, a local news channel said they saw a gray Dodge that ended up being towed away with two sheriff vehicles following it. Meanwhile, Kyla's grandmother, whom she was very close with and looked up to like a mother, posted on Facebook that, I can't wake up from this nightmare. Family and friends, my heart is bleeding right now over the tragic loss of my granddaughter, Kyla, 24 years old, who was shot and unalive early this morning. She is the mother of these two beautiful girls, Naomi, five, and Nyla, four and was pregnant with a third child. Please pray for my family. We are devastated and not coping well. The news media mentioned a male and female involved. There are conflicting stories as to who shot my baby with two suspects in custody. It's still under investigation. Now, since the boyfriend was arrested too, it made many people believe that maybe Rashad shot her during the heat of the moment. Plus, his past may have played a part in his initial arrest as well. While doing some background on Rashad, he appeared to have somewhat of a tragic past that in turn got him into some trouble. On December 5, 2008, law enforcement investigated a shooting in which Rashad Thompson, then 15 years old, was shot in the chest by a 21-year-old man named Sandino Atkins. Sandino was then arrested and charged in that 2008 case. He pled guilty in June 2010 and was sentenced to five years in prison with credit for time already served in the Rockdale County Jail. However, he was paroled from state prison in June of 2011. After Sandino was released, he was out less than two years when Rashad shot him four times, five years after Sandino shot him. On Sunday, April 21, 2013, just after 7 p.m., Rockdale County Sheriff's Office deputies responded to a call of a person shot at 2636 Fieldstone View Lane. Deputies found the victim lying on the ground, shot multiple times, and losing consciousness. Witnesses then gave a description of the shooter and told deputies that he walked away from the scene and was last seen on the street behind Fieldstone View Lane on Country Trace. After the law officials were processing the scene of the shooting and speaking with several witnesses, investigators then went to 2613 Country Trace to make contact with Rashad. He was arrested just 30 minutes later around 7.30 p.m., and the handgun believed to have been used in that shooting was also recovered. Early indications were that Rashad was upset that Sandino was already out of prison and shot him in retaliation. So I believe that is why the police truly took him to at first, because he had a criminal past. But since this tragedy took place, it appears that witnesses saw Arkea shoot Kyla in the head at point-blank range. Arkea is currently being held in jail and charged with taking a life, bodily harm, and possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony. What she is accused of is something out of a nightmare. I mean, she executed her, knowing she was pregnant. I'm shocked she did not shoot him, too. If he was dating both at the same time, Kyla most likely did not know about her because she appeared to be happy in her relationship. She was even planning to get married this year. Now there is a four and five year old without a mother. Another tragic story that should not have happened. She was only 24. The alleged suspect only 25 and now she threw her life away and ruined her family. Jealousy and envy are real and if you let it take hold of you, things can turn bad quickly. My deepest condolences to Kyla's family and prayers for the coming days. She should still be alive, living her life and taking care of her children. However, that was sadly cut short 
by a truly senseless crime. Please don't forget to comment your thoughts and prayers on this situation and for this family in their difficult time and hit that like button and share to make your people aware. And as always, remember to stay woke. Things change quickly.